Yeah, the project is... Um, it might be a little bit about... Uh, not so much bored between other projects, but definitely something that I started on in Tigers with the kind of... Um, I guess they call it hybrid drumming now, but that's a pretty, pretty bollocks phrase, I think. Um, but using, using electronics with the drum kit, trying to make kind of... Uh, those two meet somewhere really kind of in the middle and it was in Tigers I use it a lot in Three Track Tigers but then there, more and more options started presenting themselves so I wanted to just have a go at writing some music that felt punky um, quite immediate quite short quite just explosive I mean Tigers is obviously explosive and stuff but it's quite involved so I wanted to do something almost the other end that's just like two minutes three minutes and just just see what happens really when I write it, um, there's, there's a few ways, there's a few different ways the songs get written, but probably the main way is I'll be sat on Ableton um, nerding and just be like, oh, that's something that could work. Then I'll take it over to the drum kit, play it through, try and get a form, try and get an idea for it, then record it, then take it back to Ableton, then play it again. And, it, and you know, so it slightly kind of comes from both ends. But yeah, it normally comes from here's a melody that I'd like to hear or here's a kind of little lick that can work. The drums are mainly kind of like almost you play guitar in. Yeah, you know, like yeah, in that yeah, way yeah. that like kind of, I don't know, I think like Lightning Bolt are basically, uh, Gibson is just playing Chippendale's drum parts on the <laughs> yeah, bass, you know, and, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and almost the same with like all the bands I loved, you know, the drums and the guitars are always they're playing the same thing, just the voice different. So yeah, I think that, but with electronics, really, and trying to see if you can do a, something that's as influenced by Rusty as it is by Rage Against the Machine as it is by Lightning Bolt. What sort of stuff are you, are you listening to? I mean, basically that stuff, yeah. Uh, well, Arca, I think that's absolutely phenomenal, and the 10 Trips album. Those two are just so amazing for, like, it's electronic, but it clearly nothing's been written with a mouse. You know, it's clearly someone, you know, and that kind of sense of chaos, that sense of of aliveness in the electronic music is really important, I think. And then all the other stuff, you know, the Square Pusher, the Ortec, uh, the, everything those guys do, because I mean, Square Push is totally pushing his live, uh, you know, kind of play, performing his electronics. I think the second you speak to, you know, the guys that wrote that stuff in the 90s, you realise that they their whole dream has been to be able to actually get on stage yeah. and just make it happen real time and we're kind of getting to the point now where it's almost doable. You know, it takes a lot of preparation, you can't just jam it, but it is, you know, I can be quite free on stage with that stuff and, and it still makes sense, it's not just back and forth. so that's that's pretty lovely. Like there's some amazing guys out there doing stuff like Greg Fox, his kind of solo stuff with the sensory percussion shit is amazing. Um, DM Tony Parks is We Are Dark Angels is like him with a sampler and the kit all like mothers like yeah. total genius but definitely going in on the on the intense end here's 20 minutes of, <laughs> of like a, of a kind of uh, yeah. gamelan orchestra or, or here's some really chopped beat that you don't know about you know it's like it's amazing stuff but, but yeah so they, those guys and then and then just like a load of you know, some kind of quite glorious stuff, Sufjan Stevens, I think, like, trying, you know, all really melodic things are really important for it. The thing that I yeah. love with that stuff is yeah. also something to, like, Arca is clearly unbelievable, like, stuff, but I would also say that I wanted my stuff to be quite listenable. Yeah. And quite yeah, yeah, pop, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I, that's why the Rusty album, um, his most recent album, is just like, I mean, just so dumb in a great way, you know, it's just like build up some glory, build up some glory, and it's like, great, do that, three minutes, bang, we're done. Oh, do I get to shout that there's an album? Yes, of course, awesome. of course, yeah, go for it, go for it. Yeah, just that I'm doing an album of my stuff um, called Colossal Squid that hopefully will be out within a couple of months or something. So yeah. Who's it, who's it being released by? Blood and Biscuits. Every time you're on stage with the computer, like, well, you're about to fuck up, aren't you? And then, and then your bass drum pedal breaks, and it's like, oh, <laughs> touche. Yeah.